Hi, I'm Christina Dunn. I'm here at Dunn Vineyards today to show you how to remove the wax. We have two different wines, our Napa Valley with the foil and then our Howe Mountain with this uh, very traditional sealing wax. It's a little bit harder and so it's not something that you can just cut off. So I have three different ways uh, and let me show you how to do it. So the first way is simply to drill through the top of the wax. This can easily be done with any of the wines that are younger. The cork is still very hard and uh, will not fall apart. As you can see, it crackles uh, and crumbs all over the place, and you just pull it right out. There is the first way. Second option is to, I use usually, blah, blah, blah. I would usually do this over a garbage can, but what you want to do is you just want to tap it along the lip of the bottle and turn it. What you're doing is just wanting to break that seal. A clean way to do that and not have the wax fly all over the place would be to simply put a towel over the top and you can hit it as well. Uh, once that seal is broken, I then take the foil knife and simply carve the rest of it off, exposing that seal. And once again, right through the top. If it is an older bottle of wine and the cork is a little bit softer, this is a great way to do it. You could then put the osso right through and open it. There you go. And the last way is to use heat. So what I'm going to do is use a nice little uh, cigar lighter. You could also use a creme brulee torch if you wanted to. Uh, you're going to simply uh, hold it over the top for a few seconds just to let the wax uh, warm up and soften up a bit. As you try not to burn yourself, it does get a little bit dark in color. Sometimes this is also easy to do simply over a candle. Let's see if we've got it warm enough to do. If it all works out well, you've just been able to expose that. You can see how it kind of cools down. And then once again, if you wanted to, you can, you can carve the remaining off. You want to get it nice and clean. And then right through with the corkscrew or the osso. Osso is definitely the best opener to use if the wine is, I don't know, 20, 30 years old. It really helps with those soft corks. And there you go. The three ways to open a done wine and you will not be angry with that wax anymore. <laughs> Thank you.